Gen Z is aging like milk? Nah, bro, who says she's 22? What, she said that? She could say she's she's 14 or 40. You say anything. Gen Z is aging like milk. Okay, there's a trend going around where Gen Z is freaking out because they realize they look really old. Starting with this really? clip from Jordan the Stallion. Apparently, I remember seeing this. Gen Z is yeah. like aging really rapidly. It is mainly because of the stress. I remember, yeah. We live in a time nowadays where millennials look way younger for their age, while Gen Z looks way older for their age. If you don't believe let's, it. Let's find out. We're going to save this image right here. And we're going to go over. All right. I was 31. This is this is becoming a little bit upsetting. I mean, it's it's not very accurate. It's all right. Let's see if we can let's see if we can do anything else. All right. So this is a photo of me. I was 20 years old in this photo. There's something wrong with it. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's try it. We'll try it one more time. 25. Okay. That's not awful, right? Okay. How about this one here? I was 21 or 22. 27. That's actually pretty good. Okay, what about a really recent one? Do you guys get off the site? What do you mean there's something wrong with it? What do you mean? What's wrong with me? Crop out the boat? Oh, they're trying to age the boat. Oh, that makes sense. How old am I? 36? Are you fucking kidding me? Basically, yeah, you're basic. If you round that up, it's 40. Which is basically the end. You know? This photo is almost 15 years old. So you're 46? So, for okay, alright, alright. So, uh, is this true for me? I don't, th I don't know. I mean, I was like, I was like 21, I think, in this photo. Okay, I know I went off on like a massive tangent with this, right? But I see a lot of my friends, and they're all old as fuck. Like, I'm going to be honest. They've all got gray hair. They're fat. Like, it's just they're, they're getting old. Absolutely. What's your excuse? I, I, I feel like I'm doing great. Okay, I do. Yeah, so I'm, I don't feel bad. I'm Gen Z. Okay. Get closer. I am Gen Z and nobody ever believes me. When my mom and I walk out in public, people think that my mom is my younger sister. That's interesting. Right? When I tell people, oh, I'm gonna go hang out with my family, they think I'm talking about my children. I don't have kids, right? I'm talking about my parents. I'm still the child. Does that make sense? I'll, I'll put it to you like this. Zendaya is older than me. Tom Holland, is older than me. That's you know what I'm saying right now. There was one time I wanted an autograph from Dwayne the Rock Johnson, right? I was standing for hours for this autograph, and when yep. he walked up to me, I said, "Can you please sign this poster? It's for Jordan, right?" He then took it and put, "Dear Jordan, your dad is a great guy. He stood out here for hours and then gave it back to me." And before I can, oh correct him, my he looked god, at me and said. Times were way more difficult back when we were kids, am I right? And Isn't The Rock like 60 or 50 years old? He tapped my shoulder and left. And, uh, Dwayne is 52. There it is. I am 26. Do you, what, what I'm 26. saying is, 26. So Gen Z Jesus. definitely looks older. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, so that guy's name is Jordan. He yeah. is 26 years old, and he's borderline Gen Z. Now, if you didn't know the age range, sure. Gen Z is from 12 to 27, so he does actually qualify there. I think in, in his case, oh. I think it's just a look he's gone for. Like, if you shave, you'll probably drop another 10 years. I'm pretty much the same. Like, with a beard, I look 55, but then if you shave it off, I look about 12. So it's 
not yeah. too bad. I mean, he still looks good and everything. I think he's he's one of those guys who ages gracefully, meaning at like 45, he'll probably look the exact same as he does now. The way I screamed no when he said I'm Gen Z, I screamed you said Zendaya is older than me. I would have never guessed you're only 26. My condolences, Gen Z. 26? What stress are y'all going through? Now, the real problem comes when we start looking into these other posts. This is like, I, I feel like, that, I mean, because that's bad, right? Oh, uh, drone was for, yeah, bro, like 26, 22 years old. I mean, that's bad, though, right? I mean, like, let's be honest. That is, like, the girl asked the audience what age she looked. Most kids, 30s and 40s. Like, I don't even know what to say about this. This is scary. I'll be 33 tomorrow? Well, it's been over for three years. What's another one? This girl asked her audience what age she looked. Most guests 30s and 40s. Yeah. She's 22. Respectfully, you look like you're pushing 45. Stop Jesus. Filler or Botox, whatever you have. It looks so Ooh. bad. 45? I get like, okay, maybe like late 20s, 30s. 45. 22. Yeah. Shocker. When I first started TikTok and started making filler videos like come get filler with me or botox i used to get i see where the problem is oh now it makes sense yeah okay well mystery solved get these hate comments all the time there's just people on tiktok that absolutely there hate. are girls that get plastic surgery and it does make them look hotter but there are also a lot of girls that get plastic surgery and it makes them look like a lizard cosmetic procedures and a dehydrated lizard on like the uh like a rock in the grand canyon and everything around it is red and it's a red lizard believe that you shouldn't get them and again i think it's a personal preference like if i want to get filler do whatever the like fuck you want who no cares one should stop you from getting filler because it's your own face do but whatever you people want people always told me that i look older and i get it i look older I might act older, um, but 45? And before I used to cry over these comments and used to delete them and block the account, but now I'm just like, I just laugh at it because I know it's not true. <laughs> um, but You know that wasn't a real laugh. You know, bro, like that was it, dude, that laugh hurt. Like, that shit is bad. God damn, bro. Like, you know, like, oh, God. Jesus, that sucks, bro. I do respect your opinion. Okay, I just gotta say- Yeah, so, like, what happens with girls is, like, they, uh... And it, here's, like, the other thing, right? Is that there are plenty of girls that get plastic surgery, and you don't know it because the person that did it wasn't, uh, you know, um, fucking... Who was that guy in, in Cyberpunk, right? With the, the bald head wearing the tutu? Uh, y you know, it wasn't that guy. So, like, there's a lot of girls that get plastic surgery, and it's totally fine, right? Yeah, fingers, exactly. Yeah, yeah, there it is. And, like, for example, I remember Izzy got, like, a nose surgery, and I couldn't fucking tell. Like, it looked fine to me. I mean, what the hell? Like, I, I mean... I <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention to her nose anyway, but if you draw attention to it, I don't fucking know. So yeah, of course it works. Men don't really look at noses? No, no, not really. Um, and so yeah, this has happened with a lot of cases, and there are girls that get it, but like, I think that really, you know, imagine being a 22-year-old girl and growing up on social media whenever it's like, you know, like, you're old enough for it to have ruined your life, but you're still too young to have any of the support that people should have on social media. So it's like the worst of both worlds.
the completely neutral party over here not trying to not trying to say anything but yeah she does actually look 45 i'd venture maybe even 55 and that's not an insult i can't talk i look like a freaking goomba that got stopped on by mario Ooh. i'm just being honest like these tiktok comments and this is probably a result of all these fillers or procedures that she's having done at such a young age yeah, yeah I feel exactly like nobody literally nobody should be getting botox or fillers or any kind of work done on your face at the young age of 22 i feel like at least grow into yourself a little bit right i think that if uh if you want it like if there's something that's fucked up on your face right like there's a girl with a big nose or uh you know like whatever else right uh and you want to fix it then i think you should fix it like if you're not happy with the way that i look and uh that or the way that you look excuse me i know nobody's happy with the way i look um if you're not happy with it then just go fix it but the problem with like some people is that they actually don't have a real problem with the way that they look they have a problem with looking at themselves and so as soon as they fix one problem now it's another problem now it's something else right and it's like this ever extending goalpost that you can never really get to because it's like, oh yeah, well I fixed my nose, but then my eyebrows or my eyes or my jawline or something like that. Uh, there's all kinds of shit like that. And I'll say like, as a guy, I think that most guys can look good. I've said this before. I think that, and I'm not gay. It's not gay to say this, but I think on average in a lot of cases, guys look more attractive than women that's just how it is i know i know it might sound gay but i think that really if you're a dude and you work out and you take care of yourself you're going to be in a good position it's actually true yeah it's a fact bro it's a fact yeah and so yeah you get a nice fitted suit work out and that's it it's not gay at all bro like that's the straightest thing that you can ever say at least, you know, spend a couple of years working on yourself through, you know, the natural means of diet and exercise. And maybe, maybe you look up some of these goddamn mm -hmm. looks mixing tutorials, start yeah. doing 60 hours a day. I don't know. Okay. Anything's better than flipping, injecting shit into your faith. Okay. These yeah. This is the thing, bro. Like you should, if you're a guy, never even think about doing this. Like spend six months at a gym before you even consider plastic surgery. Don't even think about it. Mega companies kind of guilt trip you into thinking you should be applying all these products every single day. If you don't apply them, you're going to die or something. Yeah. You're going to look ugly. But then kind of the opposite happens. The people who end up staying very natural just naturally have good looks because, you know, that's the way our ancestors kind of well, did. I, no, I don't agree with that because obviously you're going to have a survivorship bias with that because the people that naturally look good are going to age better because they started better. But the people that are fucked up to begin with and then they change their face are going to get more fucked up because they were fucked up to begin with right and so like i think that's kind of uh you know selection bias uh in you know in general however um yeah like i, I i'll tell you this like i've learned like as a guy it doesn't matter what you do like uh just make sure that well this is the way that like i clean myself is that i have a knife and i just take a knife and i scrape all of the skin and everything off of my face and if you do that, you're going to be okay. That's the solution. You don't need to worry about like moisturizing cream, anything like that. You just do that with a knife. That's good. Yeah, no, it's, it's, comments, it's why normal. Why the hell are you all getting fillers at 22? She because does there's something wrong with her. She got a mental disorder. What do you mean? It's obvious, right? I mean, holy fuck. It's obvious. Look, 45. No one should stop her from getting fillers. Yes, I hope she's happy. Okay, this I thing hope about she's happy. okay, yeah. yeah, you should be allowed to do what you want. But if this is the result, is that really what you want to do? Exactly. I mean, sure, go ahead if if you want to. If you well, wanna... you got to keep this in mind. She's gonna hate the way that she looks no matter what. She she probably hated the way she looked whenever she was a kid. She probably hated how she looked now. It's always gonna be because it's something in your head. 45 at age 22 go ahead and do all this shit nobody's stopping you yeah. but come on we should be allowed to speak out against this believe it or not even stuff like makeup is probably bad for you because you never yeah that's what i was saying right girls wearing makeup guys don't have to wear makeup it's just the way it is you don't have to do that
It's not gay, guys. There's nothing gay about it. Kind of chemicals that you should not be putting in your face, but it's just so normalized yeah. and that everybody is doing it and you feel like, hey, if this person is doing it, if I don't use it, I'm just going to look uglier mm -hmm. than them. So that's why you kind of get in this rat race over here. But yeah, I, I just, you know, I'd stay away personally. OK, but I'm not I'm a, I'm a guy. I'm a guy. So what, what do I know? Right. Oh, my God. Saying she looks 45 is an insult to women who are 45. <laughs> Jesus, what a bitch. <laughs> what a fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I would look way better than this. She thinks looking 45, 22 Jesus. is bad. Wait till she hits 45. She will look. <laughs> Bro, look at God, God, doctor? <laughs> what is that? A doctor? Because it's like, no, it's a mid 50s. <laughs> oh my God. 100. She's lucky no one said mid 50. <laughs> yeah, face. Twitter is even more ruthless than TikTok. Here's a quote tweet. What does 22 year old and so many others fail to realize that when they go for these trends, laminated brows, lash extensions, fake tan, Botox, filler, bleach, uh -huh. blood, hair, etc. Is that they look like the old women that are trying to look That's young. a good exactly. point. Exactly. You get yeah. this sort of artificial look. Not saying that. There's I a Bill Burr quote that I really liked a lot. And he said he'd rather look like a 55-year-old person than a 25-year-old lizard with plastic surgery. And that's a fucking fact. I've tried it. Okay, obviously I haven't tried it. I don't have personal experience, but I don't think you need personal experience. You can kind of see the results of this shit on social media. For and, sure. you know, applying products on your face is one thing, mm -hmm. but then, you know, some people take it too far with the plastic surgery. You know, we saw example one, example two. You, exa don't, you don't ever want to put, uh, you know, put things on your face. Example three, you really want to turn no. out like these people. No, stay away. Okay, don't get influenced by yeah. South Korean doll look or like whatever oh, these boy. people are brainwashing you yep. through social media. Watch Pegasus and stay sane. Okay, this super blonde hair ages a lot of women too. Work with your coloring. Yeah, I'm sure the hair is the problem. Yeah, I'm sure that's she needs really to it. do even more work on herself. That is mm -hmm. that is great advice right there. Come on, just no. I know plenty of girls that get into this shit. It's really kind of sad. Like I, I honestly like and I that's really what it is like i don't know how many girls I, I probably like if i had to say probably like four or five girls that i've talked to that are like in my opinion like a nine out of ten at least right and like these girls fucking hate the way that they look they're always thinking about how fat they are that they're ugly shit like that oh my god what are y'all doing what are you doing like the fuck stay away from the artificial shit Eat, eat normal, normal, single ingredient eat healthy a potato. foods. Exercise, yeah. and maybe maybe you can somehow wash this away. I don't know if exercise can fix this, honestly. It's not going to Because the damage it. seems to be done, but you know. Yeah. And here we got yet another one of these videos where people are just complaining about getting called old. I was humbled so quick tonight. I was on live with my boyfriend, and someone was like, how old's your girlfriend? And John jokingly responds, 47. And the girl comments, oh, I thought she was early 30s. I am 23. That's probably the most. Wow. Yeesh. Ooh. Ouch. That's bad. Most offended voice I've ever heard. Damn. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't have it as bad as the other person, obviously. She just kind of looks like a mom. Definitely, yeah. I'd say, yeah, more 30s than 20s. But I feel like that's kind of the aesthetic she went for. Like, just uh, the, the clothes, the dressing, the style. It yeah, just true. gives off more mom vibes, you know? This lady is my age, by the way, which which is weird. In my head, I'm still 15. I'm still a kid. Okay, I don't, I don't know. The fact that these people are my age, that's crazy, bro. I, I think that I'm... I, I, in my head, I still think that I'm 15, too until I talk to a 15 year old and I think to myself holy fuck never mind I'm actually 30 like that's what will happen like I, I talk to a kid and I'm like whoa <laughs> what is this uh, maybe I'm I'm going through a crisis yeah. right now uh. it's gotta be the microplastics dog it's it's definitely don't touch the receipt at your cashier it's estrogenic actually they were just brutal 23 I was thinking 33 I thought Jesus. 35 I was thinking mid to late 30s I'm thinking 35 Jesus Gee. you don't need to be so 35 honest. there's a fine line when it comes to baby Botox injections fillers and vapes are among the sneaky culprits making yeah this is what you if you want to avoid age this is what you do uh number one don't ever like because i think that once you have a skincare routine you just basically are going to ruin your face because like you have to think that your face has evolved 
by the way, this isn't medical advice. Um, you have to think that like your face has evolved and your skin has evolved for millions of years without um, aloe vera skin cream, without, um, you know, like a detox, without, uh, you know, some sort of mud lift or anything like this. Like, it, 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 you didn't have this back in the day, bro. You didn't have this 100 fucking years ago, 200 years ago. So you don't do any of this. So what you want to do is you never drink alcohol, never do any drugs, never smoke anything. Um, don't be fat. If you're fat, that's bad. And never put weird shit on your face. That's all you have to do. And everything will be fine. And drink while probably, yeah, don't go in the sun. Never go outside. You never, ever, ever want to go outside. I have skin, bro. Like, my skin is white. Never go outside. Does he look older than millennials? If you, you need to a bit for vitamin D. I mean, fight five minutes, but that's it. Then go back inside and stay there. I was about to say things that uh, cannot be said on YouTube, but you, you get my message. If you vape. All right, <laughs> if you vape. Okay. Experts warn as cosmetic procedures soar among the younger generation. It is not uncommon to see 18 year olds with lip filler. Oh, they do this shit in Korea all the time. I mean, yeah, you think it's bad over here. They do it way more. Apparently it's the same thing in China too, I hear. Yeah, so like. <laughs> Heaven forbid my daughter gets 18 year old yep. lip filler. Ay, 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 ay. Lord have mercy upon my soul. Korean I will surgeons not look better. Be participating in society I when I grow up. Aye, aye, aye. Get out of the twenty-year-olds are getting Botox and fillers, semi-permanent makeup in the form of eyebrows and lips. These procedures combined can make you. Appear I remember older. Uh, there were some girls in my school that used. Yeah, you know, I went to kind of a ratchet-ass high school. There were plenty of girls in my school that drew their eyebrows on with sharpies. Like I would say, there was at least thirty of them that went to my school like that. Perry said yeah. and actually once you start I mean, going down this marker. route it's very hard to go back to being entirely natural especially when the affirmations start on social media that's right get all your self-esteem from losers on yeah social yeah media. this is the this is the guy that this girl is worried about impressing like tiktokers Raiders, yeah yeah Raiders. there's another one right there he, yeah th this is the guy right here bro like he he's the one who's telling you that uh you know that like your your nose is too long TikTokers. You know? I said that twice. Okay, I have brain damage. Number one, guys, stop obsessing over your appearance. It just never ends well. Number two, stop putting... I think that you should care about the way you look if you're not happy with it. Just fix it, though. Like, you, you don't want to think about it. Just, like, actually, the, the, here's the reality. People like doing things like plastic surgery because it's fucking easy. It's fucking easy to just go pay money and then have a person... Uh, <laughs> You know, and just transmog you to look the way that you want to look. Now, it's a lot harder for you to actually go to the gym and change the way that you eat and then put in work to change your appearance. So it's like if you want to obsess about the way you look all the time, actually obsess over it and fix it. Now, don't just look for like a quick fix trash in your body in the form of chemicals processed oh, foods, wow. mcdonald's six billion ingredients frozen food products they're all mm -hmm. poisoning you they're all killing you number three social media is going to roast you regardless of how you look so don't take it too seriously don't take it to heart yeah, although there might be a little bit of truth to it okay number four never get plastic surgery unless your face is literally burnt off and it hurts for people to look at you well i you want to get plastic surgery or something wrong with it that's fine but like uh <sighs> that, that's how anorexia starts oh because you don't want to be fat so you just starve yourself yeah well i mean like everybody's i mean somebody like what are you that would be what is it's either so you either have people be anorexic or you have them be fat nope you should lose weight you shouldn't be fat that's all there is to it you can't figure out the difference between the two that's not my problem like when i what, what are we gonna do we're gonna have to talk around this we're gonna have to be like oh we're not gonna get it we we can't talk about the fact that it's bad to do this because some people that have a mental disorder might hear it and go crazy fuck them man
okay? Most people, just 99.9% .9 of people do not need it, okay? It'll just make yeah. you feel worse. Love yeah. yourself, be happy, be healthy, and subscribe for maximum intellectuals. I'll see you guys in the next video. Click this video or I explode. And uh, that's a good video, bro. Like, that's a, that's a good way to look at it. I, I mean, like, here's this thing. Like, I, I agree with what he's saying, by the way. I definitely do. I'll give him a sub. I never, I never seen this guy's channel before. Uh, this is funny. Yeah, it, it's just like, aware am I gay for liking women? There's nothing more gay than that, man. It's so true. Do what Socrates said, the handsome so, shall work uh, to match on that on the inside, and the ugly compensate their ugliness with education. Yep. Uh, I, I just, like, was a fat kid, I'm skinny now, you can do it, random chatter. Well, here's the thing, right? Is, like, I go and I think about the way that social media fucks with people's heads all the time. But, like, I've met a lot of the... Like, I'm gonna just tell you. Like, I've met a lot of these girls on, like, streams, on Instagram. I've met them in real life. They don't look like the way they do on the fucking computer. I'll tell you that. They don't. Like, it, it, so... Even the ones that you think are hot on social media don't really look the same. Now, some of them do. Some of them do. But a lot of them don't. So keep that in mind. I think that with a lot of uh, a lot of girls, especially, this really fucks with their head because they see other girls on social media that have, like, perfect lighting. You know, they're taking pictures at just the right angle. There are girls that are good at taking photos. They're photoshopping their photos. They're wearing, like, three different levels of makeup. So, like, some dumb girl sees that and she's like, oh, I'm never going to look that way. I guess I either get plastic surgery or I kill myself. And so, you know, there's the two options for life. And, uh, guys, I, it's fucking sad, man. It really is.